Okay, recording this video after close of trade Monday, 9th of May 2011. And interesting day ended up being a low volume up day, only 1.4 million contracts traded. And we kind of lacked a bit of convic conviction to this. Uh, I was trying to get long all morning, having seen end of trend on the 4500 tip bar chart, but uh, we didn't really go very far with this. So that's kind of not a good sign necessarily. We're still underneath this kind of uh, cyclical resistance on better sine wave on daily time frame. So we're still technically in a down uh, swing uh, on this kind of daily time frame. And if we look at the uh, trend line chart, just on a high level chart, like a 135 minute chart, we've come into congestion here. We're at uh, kind of an interesting point. So this is this kind of island potential reversal that I'm kind of worried about that we kind of gapped up into this and the professionals have used this particularly going into the 50s and 60s here to exit with their high average trade size. This uh, piece could well get left behind if we kind of break the trend line to the to the lows and go the other way we'll have a very strong move the other way but equally you know we could ex break out of this congestion zone, zone and uh, continue and test the highs but let me just show you what I was seeing on the 4500 tip bar chart. So after the weekend's video, it seemed to go over pretty well. It's got a lot of very positive feedback about that. We had, this was uh, exhaustion selling on Friday, uh, blue professional bars kind of coming in at the lows. And then with the overnight activity, uh, Sunday into the open on Monday, we, we formed an end of trend warning signal here on the 4500 tip bar chart. Now, because, because this has uh, exhaustion selling at this point, and then we get the end of trend, uh, that's kind of a, for me, I'm not necessarily waiting for the second cyclical turn. But, you know, we did get a cyclical turn, second cyclical turn at the beginning of the day. This is the open of the day. And then we uh, find it difficult to break out initially, a lot of kind of bearish divergence signals, and then kind of settled back into 35, 36 here. Cyclical support, finally a flush signal, flushing out all of the sellers. And you can see we've got an amateur down bar at that point, uh, kind of into the lows bullish divergence and then the market really takes off to the upside. Now um, I'll tag on my day trades. This point here became a little bit kind of tricky for me. I was wondering if I got this wrong on the lower time frames. You saw all of these blue professional bars here at resistance and I was wondering whether I got this kind of directionally incorrect and, and we were actually going to go to the downside. That is almost, it's almost classic kind of jumping the creek. You see the, the Blue professional bars happen within this congestion zone. They're getting ready to uh, take the market higher, and so they're taking positions at this point here. A little bit of a fake to the downside, and then as soon as we break through this resistance line, a uh, strong blue professional high range bar kind of going up, we just keep on going to the uh, to the upside. So I was continually trying to get in long. I was trying to get in long at 38 and a quarter, 37, 30, uh, 38 and a half, and finally at 38 and a half, I did manage to. Uh, uh, it was like the third time. Uh, each time I was either kind of small losses or small gains, but anyway, finally at 38, it took off, and then I lost, con uh, I lost uh, not consciousness, no, but I lost confidence at 41 and got out for just three, and of course the move went to 46. There was another five points in it, which uh, you know I kicked myself about, but anyway, uh, them's the breaks. So now on this time frame, something interesting's happened. So uh, we've almost had the reverse here. We've had exhaustion buying at this point here. We've tested into the highs with amateur up bars, found no uh, kind of demand up there, had a bearish divergence at this point here. We've come back to form a pullback in an uptrend. So, you know, for the open tomorrow, I'll be looking for something like an end of trend warning signal and possibly, you know, weakness after that. So, you know, if this breakout doesn't work and we kind of uh, if there's no real demand going on we we could have ourselves a big kind of ranging day as I said today was really quite quiet just on this point about kind of uh, waiting here I mean I, I was I was going through my videos I saw all these testing down bars and saying you know testing is all about testing your patience because it kept on being spiked down and spiked down and I was always looking at two points of heat on my trade getting in at 38 and kind of pushing down to 35 or in at 37 and uh, 38 and pushing to 36 or in at 37 and pushing to 35 it was kind of really testing my patience but they were definitely kind of testing down to see if there was anybody was you know any supply there and it was kind of break to the downside but didn't it rallied up and when you look at the higher time frames really uh, we were just waiting for this cyclical support to kind of come in on the 40,500 tip bar chart and particularly on the 13 you know it's almost like we were running out the clock while we had this uh, downswing happening 
uh, in terms of better sine wave, and it wasn't until we had, you know, spent enough time kind of pushing down into a shallow retracement that we hit support. Uh, support kind of came in and we kind of took off to the upside. So uh, it's an interesting pattern. You look at all of this activity here, real congestion. Uh, all I talk about kind of uh, bullish and bearish divergent signals right on the zero line showing a indecision. And that's exactly what we had going on here. And you get trend moves kind of breaking out of that, strong trend moves. I know, you know, on the higher time frames, we've kind of had our exhaustion selling on the downside. We've been testing down. So, you know, maybe it's time to, to rally up. But just um, on the 45, on the kind of certainly the first half of tomorrow, I'm wondering whether we're going to find some kind of resistance when we print our end of trend on this time frame. And then lastly, just uh, the 1500 tip bar chart. Here was the open of the day, and uh, we had you know had exhaustion selling a couple of times until we came into 3536 here with bullish divergence, those amateur down bars, and then we took off to the upside. And you can see the high of the day was uh, nicely marked with an end of trend. Having had our exhaustion buying here, bang. Uh, we kind of push back in with these Rambo patterns, similar just as I've shown you on the 4500 tip bar chart, end of uh, trend signal here. And this is this kind of classic pattern where you see the first shoulder of a move being marked by the end of trend on the lower time frame, uh, and then the head being marked by the end of trend on the higher time frame. So this could be a left shoulder kind of developing here on 4500 tip bar chart when we mark uh, the end of trend uh, tomorrow morning could be the high of that move. So got a little bit of a downside bias as I'm talking through this for tomorrow. So hope your trading went well. I'll tag on my day trades. I over-traded about six, uh, six trades all in all, uh, but finished up uh, three uh, and three quarters for the day. So that wasn't so bad. Just gone short 38 even. And just checking my stops and targets here. Just had a uh, exhaustion buying on the 500 tip bar chart followed by a little bit of uh, bearish divergence. It's coming up to a cyclical turn on the 1500 tip bar chart. And we've had, it's kind of an icebreaker trade because we've had the first blue professional bar kind of coming in here. Now a couple of uh, amateur down bars uh, off um, the cyclical resistance could become support. So just going to watch for that um, fraction early because we haven't had our cross yet on the uh, 1500 tip bar chart. But anyway, just short at 38 even. Okay, just a couple of minutes later and it's kind of going our way. Uh, a little bit hairy around 38 here because had a whole bunch of blue professional bars kind of come in. You can see one on the 1500 tip bar chart, but the uh, low of those blue professional bars didn't hold and we kind of cracked down to 37. So um, just conscious that we had end of trend warning signal with uh, the uh, kind of pre-open activity kind of come up. So I think you know, we're going to have some strength coming into the market. So I'm just uh, holding to uh, 36 is my profit target at the moment. We're kind of very slow down into this move. You know, we've had exhaustion buying, we had a flush signal, so I'd you know, have thought it would travel down a little bit, but we're kind of against the trend a little bit on the 4500 tip bar chart, although this cyclical turn isn't really a confirmed cyclical turn uh, because we've just not seen kind of blue professional bars kind of down here, but it's similar to the end of trend there, so. Okay, we've had exhaustion selling on the downside. Going to be looking for an exit very, very soon. Reversal went long at 38.25. Quarter point loss on that trade. Um, the reason for reversing is um, exhaustion selling on the downside. We've got this kind of cyclical support area on 45 that could hold. We had end of trend kind of uh, as a result of the overnight activity, and I think we're going to go into an uptrend. So. Just uh, long at 38.25. Um, it's moving quite fast now, which is nice. So let's see where this goes. Quarter point loss on that last one. Okay, just a couple of minutes later, we just had this kind of spike down to 37, still holding at 38.25. This is kind of not looking good here. Blue professional bar on the low got taken out. Um, still got this kind of long bias because the end of trend on 45. But this kind of moved down to 37. If we kind of start breaking back into 38, uh, that's just a kind of a violent test down to shake people out and we'll kind of move to new highs. But if we start to turn around and kind of head back to 37, bail and get out. Let's just hold it a little while longer, see where it goes. Still holding this, we kind of spike down to 36. Blue professional bar this kind kind of comes in. We rally quickly above the highs. And we've got cyclical support about coming on the 1500 tip bar chart. So, 
and now it's moving quite strongly. Maybe that was enough of a spike down to get things kind of going. Just conscious that we had this exhaustion buying signal kind of up here, which, you know, is not right. It could be that we're playing off that. We're just about to have a kind of exhaustion selling signal on the downside go off to kind of counter that. So maybe that's enough kind of selling volume to uh, get this thing going. Anyway, amateur up bar, amateur bar at the highs here at 38. Another blue level, blue professional bar. So, you know, we can get a half point test of that bar, but we need to break above those at 38 uh, to kind of show strength. Here we go. There's the exhaustion selling signal kind of down here. So sitting on a little bit of heat here, but let's see. I'm being severely tested here, we pushed down to uh, 3575 here, but we've got kind of less and less selling going on. We've got bullish divergence, stopping volume pattern here. Blue professional bars kind of coming on the 4500 tip by chart. I know we've had this cross here, uh, which is probably going to signal at 38 being a cyclical uh, resistance level. But you know, if that's the case, and I've got you know the trend direction right, we're going to break into an uptrend. That'd mean this would be a fairly strong move because then we'll break into a trend move above it, but uh, uh, come on, come on, this is, uh, you know, how much testing do I have to sit through? Okay, now this has started to move nicely, we've broken above cyclical resistance here on the 500 into a trend move. Blue Professional, we had Rambo patterns here, which just meant a little bit of weakness, uh, we kind of sold off just, you know, half point here really, and uh, Blue Professional bars kind of stepped in, we kind of broke above that, so that's kind of good. Blue professional bars just coming on the 1500 tip by chart. I need to be seeing some kind of exhaustion uh, buying activity uh, to kind of signal where this move is going to end. But we're now above cyclical resistance on 45, so this could travel quite a bit. Um, just I suppose just looking at this as a profit taking signal, don't want the lows to be kind of taken out. Got my target at 42.50 just because I want to uh, clean up that quarter point loss on the first trade, so uh, fingers crossed we'll, uh, we'll continue on. Just out at 3875 and um, that's a disappointment. The reason for getting out at the moment is come into this uh, 1500 tick bar chart. We had blue professional bars then followed by a Rambo pattern here at a cyclical turning point, we now had bearish divergence kind of go off. Now it's testing back down with amateur down bars, so this could well kind of uh, go back through 40. Uh, but just for the time being, ew. yeah, not the right place. I'm just, I think we're still going to have an uptrend, just have to re enter with the right signal anyway. So that was only a half point on that last one which is a bit of a shame. Just gone along at 37 even and just come back to uh, test these lows. Haven't checked what the actual value of this one but I wouldn't be surprised if this one can spike down to catch some uh, stops but we had two flush signals on the 500 tip bar chart as we're moving through these lows. It was uh, exhaustion selling and we've now had uh, cyclical uh, support on 1500 print. Whoa! And on the 4500 so um, maybe this is just another of these kind of push down tests and we end up kind of uh, breaking into this uh, uptrend that I've been waiting for. Let's see, long 37 even. We have entered this too early just because, uh, first of all, no blue professional bars on the 1500 tip bar chart and just had to sit through this really kind of violent spike down. Um, still think it's kind of shaking out activity. The professionals are trying to drive people out. We've had, uh, uh, first of all, these kind of flush signals on the 500 tip bar chart. Then this last kind of push down exhaustion selling at this point, so um, should be it. But you know we probably need a divergent signal after this one as well on the 500 tip bar chart. Uh, we've had um, kind of cyclical uh, resistance coming on 15, but you know we're trading in this tight kind of four point range, five point range between kind of 35 and uh, 40, just trying to uh, shape people out and kind of. My guess is break into an uptrend, but uh, let's see, so still long at 37 even. Well, that's why it's called testing, because it severely tests your patience. We're down at 35, sitting on two points of heat. All this activity and this last kind of move down, all these bullish divergence patterns, amateur down bar kind of here, 
and uh, amateur down bar 45 kind of here flush signal on 45 hoping this will be kind of a little bit of a flush signal here which had bullish divergence um, it's a big pun um, exhaustion selling bullish divergence last little push down hopefully we'll kind of flush the last of everybody out there we go still sitting on this trade okay finally back up to par on this trade up at 37 a couple of things have happened it did turn out to be a flush signal uh, down here at 35 we pressed that back down again to this kind of lower low here come into a rambo pattern at uh, 37 another bullish divergence signal on 15 the only thing that I don't like about this and uh, kind of amateur down bar on 45 the thing I don't like about this not enough blue professional bars right at the lows here on the 1500 tip bar chart so you know that being said we're still kind of finally kind of heading in the right direction just hope that enough damage has been done with these kind of exhaustion selling signal and flush signals if you look at them on the uh, 500 chart down here bang 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 whole series of them exhaustion selling and each of these kind of lows is just been creeping down by a fraction so yep having said coming to 37 at rambo we start to weaken cyclical uh, resistance at this point but still holding long 37 even come out at 38 even for a point and uh, the reason for doing that is, you know, we've had this exhaustion selling signal. We're probably ha going to have a bearish divergence signal kind of go off here. Blue professional bars, Rambo pattern up here. We're just finding a little bit of resistance here. This will be a cyclical uh, resistance on the 1500 tip bar chart. There we go, bearish divergence. So, I don't know, just think we're going to kind of test back down again. So, just out for a little point. It's still got a, an upside bias, but if we're going to test back down, looking for another re-entry point will be the way to go, I think. Okay, back in at 38.50. Waited a little bit on this retrace. Got a cyclical support kind of coming in at some time on the 500 tip bar chart, but we've just had a couple of blue professional bars come in uh, on the lows here at 500. Very shallow retrace all these kind of bullish divergence, a little bit of bearish kind of down here, it just means we're in balance when they're close to the zero line here likely to pop into a trend move, so I'm guessing uh, on the upside and this is kind of this uh, professional activity coming in here you can see it on 4500 tip bar chart, so long again, 38.50 okay, uh, just reversed and went short, it's actually 38 even, just managed to crash my uh, uh, screen recording software just as I was doing that. Uh, the reason for doing this, we had uh, bearish divergence just coming on the 1500 tip bar chart. All these blue professional bars up here is not looking good. And we've got a whole series of them on the 45. And we've had this flush signal. So, um, and cyclical turn. So, yeah, I can't believe we're going to head back down because you know, we had all this kind of price destruction on the way down. Or, you know, kind of <coughs> at least flushing out volumes, but uh, just all these professionals kind of coming at this 39 level. So anyway, um, reverse went short 38, half point loss on that last trade, and starting to over trade at this point, so it's not good. It just reversed and went long at 38. <coughs> so scratch trade the last one, and definitely over trading at this point, but uh, the reason for reversing and getting long is first of all we come into a rambo pattern here we kind of bounce from there initially this move uh, up amateur up bars uh, thinking you know as soon as we break the lows of those bars that's kind of um, looking as if that's an amateur test and we're kind of heading down amateurs kind of buying uh, a reversal and they're wrong but then the next bar down is an amateur down bar uh, which isn't right and as soon as we find some strength above that or kind of at the lows of that and then blue professional bar kind of comes in we break the blue professional bar by a quarter point and then kind of head back up. So I'm a little bit early, but I'm just uh, conscious that the last trade was, um, you yeah, know, I wanted to get out kind of at scratch, 38. So now we're kind of breaking above this. We've got cyclical support coming on the 1500 tip bar chart and you know, all these blue professional bars at the highs. This has been a very shallow kind of retrace down here. You know, after we had all of this kind of testing down at the lows, I just can't believe this is just going to whimper out at 38. 39 up here, so I think we're going to break into a trend move. Just because the lower time frames had a flush signal uh, doesn't mean, I mean, the flush signal on the 1500 tip bar chart I, I would take very seriously. Uh, but this one I am taking seriously on the 45 because, you know, we've had that after our end of trend sig uh, signal down here at 34. 
testing it to 35, bang, we should be breaking into an uptrend. So uh, if we don't, if you know, th at this point, you know, I'm starting to think I'm definitely over trading, so I need this one to go my way. Otherwise, otherwise I'll just call it quits. It's 10:37 uh, a.m. as well, so it's you know, just going to be maybe one of those days where we just do nothing and just get chopped around, and that's dangerous. Okay, a few minutes later, and we're on our way. We're up at 39. Tested back down to 37. Bullish divergence down here. No supply, kind of patterns and so on. Uh, confirmed kind of cyclical support on the 1500 tip bar chart. So, you know, this professional activity here, these kind of three bars at the highs, could be jumping the creek. You know, after we've seen all this kind of exhaustion selling on Friday, flush signals kind of testing down at the 35s. Uh, today this could be you know kind of professional accumulation ready for a bigger move um, but let's see so moment target sitting at 42 which is maybe a little bit of a stretch given today's kind of slow pace and lack of range but uh, just anything would be good today based on uh, the uh, volatility and the uh, lack of range so let's keep on holding bingo just taken out at 41 for three which is fine. Um, just blue professional bars kind of come in here. We're going to have exhaustion uh, buying at this point here, so not sure we're going to make it to 42. Previous high was 40, so we kind of bust a whole bunch of stops kind of coming up through here. So, uh, what is that? Uh, that gives me three and three quarters for the day. I think six trades, definitely over trading, but uh, it's tricky with uh, this kind of um, consolidation kind of phase. You, know, you kind of feel as if you're uh, just kind of batting backwards and forwards, getting different decisions, signals, and so you know that causes certainly causes me to over trade. Anyway, yeah, that's me done for the day. 10:59 a.m. Chicago time. Okay, just a couple of minutes later, and uh, the pro signal X has just kind of gone off. Exhaustion buying, blue professional bar kind of combination there, and we went to 42, which was the original target. So, yeah, you know, it serves me right trying to finesse an exit. You know, um, it is in an uptrend. It's going to take some time to kind of slow down. So, uh, yeah, it's my own fault for not squeezing out an extra point out of that move. But uh, you know, sometimes. Um, Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> anyway, hope you had a good day's trading. And a couple of minutes later we hit 45. Well, it's nice, first of all, to get the trend direction right, but it also sucks not to have pulled out more than three points on that trade. So there was another four in it easily. So, uh, And I just had a data disconnection on TradeStation. What fun. Anyway, it's 2.15 here in the morning, 11.16 a.m. Chicago time. Definitely going to bed.